Hey everyone, happy Sunday. <laughs> Today is Erica and I's fifth year wedding anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> and for her for our five year wedding anniversary, I wanted to get her a GoPro because we currently have the DJI Osmo Pocket 2 and we are going to go to Aquatica for our wedding anniversary and we're here at Costco right now because they have the GoPro Hero 11 on sale for 240 so we're going to go in there and pick that up for our wedding anniversary. Yeah. I'm excited because um, Jack's parents are coming in town tonight so we're going to get them and they asked me what I wanted to do for our wedding anniversary since they can babysit for us and I told Jack I just want to go to a water park <laughs> because I grew up as like a water park baby that's what my family always did like we just lived not lived our summers at the water park but we would go to a water park or like a splash pad like that's where we were always taken so I just really wanted to go because we've been in Florida for a year and haven't gone to a single one of them. <laughs> so that's what we're doing today. We're here at the Costco at Millennium Mall. This is the closest one that we have to our house. Um, so we're just going to go explore, see what else they might have. But I've heard there's Halloween inside, so we'll go see if they have any of that. Probably not going to buy anything because we don't really have enough room in our car <laughs> to put anything with the baby, the stroller, our also diaper bag in the front seat. So we'll see what they have to offer. So go for a walk <laughs> all right here it is and then the bundle includes a tripod two batteries and a SD card so we are gonna get this and then hopefully try it out on Saturday when we get to go to the water park Yay! <laughs> we have found our first Halloween there it is seasonal pillows for $9.99. They got more pillows. They just put them from the front of the house to the back. Of and the house. bananas. <laughs> <laughs> really Del Monte, our least favorite bananas when you're from Cincinnati. Chiquita. Chiquita. Chiquita and I'd like to say. And we made it into Home Goods because it's storming outside. <laughs> <laughs> we always manage to get inside of a store. Just before, in time. Yeah. But luckily we can go from this store to another store undercover. Yeah. But we'll probably get residual rain from the blowing. Yeah. To us. So we'll see. So we'll show you what's at this home goods and see where the rest of the day takes us. Well, but it is fall. We didn't find any Halloween at Costco, but we sure as heck found it here at home goods. <laughs> so some this little vampire is cute. He's cute. I love Halloween, but we don't have that many Halloween decorations yet. We haven't accumulated a lot. Jack thought this was cute. Broom parking, and then it's got a little pumpkin. It's cool because it could be like Harry Potter theme too, not so much. Yeah. We're still trying to figure out what our family Halloween costume is gonna be. We have some ideas. So, to be continued. Yeah, what are you going to be? What do you want to be? Are you going to be a baby raptor? <laughs> Some skull candy jars. It's like plastic. Well, everything's plastic now. <laughs> bucks, or 30 bucks. $30 for the candy jar. Some more over here. I don't know if you can hear it, but it is definitely storming out there. This little boo ghost for the front porch is adorable. Look at this. <laughs> That's about, almost as tall as you. It's like three foot, I think. Witches that are pretty much as tall as me. He's got a broken leg. Mm, well, he is on the ground, so. <laughs> Somebody probably got him already. We're always into the wood stuff. I Probably because Jack Wood works on the side, but this sign's really cool. Once it gets closer to Halloween, I'll actually get our pumpkin out, but I got a wood pumpkin here one year from like the Martha Stewart brand, and it's my favorite. That's what our candy jar is, like a little wood pumpkin. 
they are running out of room for Halloween. I hate when like they do crossovers between like different holidays. It's like a Nutcracker Frankenstein. Nutcracker Frankenstein. They got some Spideys down here. A toad. That hurts my eyeballs. Sprite. Five bucks. Candy corn. Boo. Two. Jack's favorite thing that his mom makes is candy corn and peanuts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I spy Disney Halloween. It's Minnie. They got some more reefs. They got this pumpkin for like your front door back here. That one's pretty. And as you can see, it's a hot mess that you can barely get down the aisles. When did it become like a fire hazard here at Home Goods? I'm five eleven. <laughs> They have boxes stacked up over the top of my head. Yeah, you can barely get through at this one. It's kind of scary. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, especially worry. with the baby. Like worry, I can't even get a, down the aisles. But don't worry, they have a strawberry lamp. It's kind of cute though. I'm not gonna lie. I would potentially put that in her bedroom. <laughs> and the fans on help cool everybody down, I guess. They even have mini summer. Summer Pencil mini order. pencil cup. I've got a bone to pick with you. <laughs> and we're making our way to Ross. Luckily, this part's covered. Otherwise, we would probably not have left. You might know you're a 90s kid if you see this in the store. They have a slinky dog that's actually a slinky dog. Look. It's an actual slinky. Most of the time they're plastic, not the metal slinky, so definitely great. But it's $11. But you know you're a 90s kid if you see that. We are back in the car. We are headed to Publix. His parents' flight got delayed out of Ohio because they had a storm. It was storming here, but luckily it's passed and they landed. Um, so we're going to do a pizza night at our house. We stopped and got some wine and some margaritas and we'll show you that when we get home i'm gonna run into Publix and get like one of those salad kits to make a salad at home um to go with our pizza because the place that we like i don't think they have salads i forget but they do but they're like small they only have like side salads so i'm gonna make a big salad for us and then i'll show you the pizza we love flippers pizza we try jack tried it with his work and then he told me about it and then I finally got to try it. Oh, it is so good. So we're gonna get flippers and I'll show you that too and show you the menu and everything. We're back home now, as you can see. Um, it's storming outside still. So we ran home and we wanted to show you the wine that we picked up from Total Wine. Uh, I ran in because Erica was with the baby, but we really love Portuguese uh, red wine. So this is a Portuguese red blend from 2019 the same year that we got married. So I picked up two of these. They're, um, they're only like 10 bucks. I think they're on special right now. I also picked up, uh, there was some other um, Spanish wines that were on sale. So, or no, Italian, excuse me. So this one, the guy said that this these are super delicious table wines. So he said, pick this one up. Uh, these ones were only $4.95, couldn't beat that. And then from the same um, winemaker, there was this one. I'm not gonna pronounce it because I don't know how to pronounce these ones, but he said these were super delicious for the price, especially being $4.97. And then for my mom, I picked up two different types of Jose Cuervo margaritas. This first one I picked up more for Erica because she likes the strawberry lime margarita. These are ready to drink, so the, the um, tequila is already in there. <laughs> and then this one is just the regular lime margarita. I got two of them because they were buy two, save four bucks. So it makes them less than $10 a piece. I thought I couldn't get out for a better deal. Honestly, all this combined was $53 after tax, which I think is a pretty decent deal. We're big Camus fans. So Camus Wineries is one of our favorites. 
Um, and we were price checking between Costco and Total Wine. And actually they were the same price, which I, which was pretty surprising to me. The baby even thought it was pretty surprising to her too, even though she stayed in the car. But uh, that's what we picked up at Total Wine. I can't wait to try these. I'm usually a bourbon guy, but I go through my phases of wanting a red wine and also wanting a margarita. But for my everyday drink, if I have to have one, I really enjoy just a bourbon neat. That's my go-to. But we're gonna give these a try with our pizza that we're gonna go pick up right now. All right, I officially made it to Flipper's Pizza. This location is just a takeout or delivery. You can't dine inside, so this is the one we usually hit up. Here's a look at the inside. And the menu, they have different sides. They do have the salads, uh, which I didn't know. They had sandwiches, some little sweets. Um, like I said, we usually come here for the pizza. We usually just get the pepperoni, but we're going to try the deluxe one tonight as well. And then they have a bunch of different signature pizzas, and Neapolitan pizzas, and their brick oven, and they're our new favorite spot to get pizza in Orlando. I just got home with the pizza, um, so I'll show you that real quick. We're still waiting on Jack's parents. There's just been traffic and accidents, so hopefully they get here soon. But definitely check out Flippers if you're in the Orlando area because it is my new favorite. Here's a look at the deluxe. Smells so good. And then this is the pepperoni. These are two larges. 16 inches. 16 inches. And then we got some wings. Just some buffalo wings. We've never had these um, from them, but so we gave them a try tonight. Jack's dad loves wings. And then one of my other favorites. Oh yeah. Bread bites. Bread bites. So good. All right, so my parents did finally make it. We enjoyed our dinner. As you saw, the pizza and the wine and the margaritas. So it was a good night catching up with them after they finally made it here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but. It was great. Thanks for joining us. And we will see you around like a donut.